What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Super excited to be with you guys doing something a little bit different today. Today we're gonna color hair. Uh, just felt like changing it up a little bit. I know some of you guys have been requesting color. I've got an overly blonde mannequin to work on today and uh, that's it. So let's get started. All right, so this is five and seven. We'll keep that over there. I'm gonna put my first bowl on. Saves you time if you don't turn this on until you put the bowl on and you put the bowl on and then it'll register as zero. So we just wanna go equal parts. So I've got my 9G here. Here we go, I'm gonna put the color in. 9G, probably gonna want about, should I do, I'm gonna go all so I don't have to remix. Thank you, Paul Mitchell, for sending this. In the salon, obviously, make sure that you're not using too much product. It's actually 2.7 ounces, and I could probably get a little bit more out of there. That's a lot of color in one tube. And we'll pour 10 volume developer in. Go just shy of that six ounce. I'm doing this to fully stress out salon owners because I just use so much color. And then I can pick it up and mix it. And then the next one, I'm not gonna use as much because I'm not gonna use quite as much of the dark in it. So I'm going to start with my 7G. I'm gonna go one ounce 7G. Okay, so that was one ounce, it was actually 1.1. I'm just gonna go half ounce 5G. So it's 7G, one ounce, and then 5G, half an ounce with 10 volume developer. There it is, 10 volume, so we'll go three, two. So it's pretty easy to tell which color is which, even though I usually um, will keep the light on the right, or you could, you could put the, light on the left, but I like the light on the right. Um, so I always kind of know which tone is my lighter tone and which tone is my darker tone. I'm going one glove, part because I want to be Michael Jackson and part because I only had one glove. Got my rat tail comb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about her hair, not only as a trend and how I want to color it, but I also want to think about her hair as how the sun would naturally hit it. What I want to do is I want to separate her face frame and then come back through the crown. So I do a little zigzag parting through it. Twist her around so you guys can see. I want a little zigzag. Zigzag just creates contrast and depth. I'm gonna come around and then I'm gonna zigzag up to the face again. Like that, and I'm gonna twist it and clip it away. That's all the way through the crown in the back and then we have a little zigzag. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna color depth all the way to behind the ear. And what I mean by depth is the darkest tone. From there, and I'm going to clip this forward so we don't see it anymore. And this technique, like we talked about, is good for our guests that are overly blonde. They come in and they are kind of like, not sure what they want. They feel like they're a little too blonde. This is a great technique to just go in, keep them blonde, but alter it just a little bit to add that depth throughout. Right here, and I'm just going to work. And the way that I color hair is fully the opposite of how I cut it. I like to be a little more free. I like to just kind of paint. So I'm just gonna work through the back here. And you don't need to overcomplicate anything. These tones are going to work really well together. They're going to add that depth in. I'm going to pull some of that 9G through the ends. So we're really just kind of painting on what would be a subtle root in this color. So I'm getting base to mid shaft in the hair and then I'm going to pull that level nine through. I can already see that I love this tone. You can see that even though I'm using a gold tone, I really see violety tones coming through. Just because it says gold on the box, doesn't mean that there's not some violet tones. I'm not saying there is violet tones because I don't know, I didn't make the color. But when I look at this, it looks like a nice neutrally beige tone. And a lot of people will be scared to grab this box off the shelf because it's gold and it has a picture of yellow, but it's okay. Today, I'm here to show you that it's okay. Working this through, these two colors can touch. Fully fine, it'll actually make them blend better. Now, why would I paint the root, the deeper tone here underneath, and then go through the ends with the lighter tone? Well, if you think about it, this hair up top is gonna veil over this, right? Underneath here is where naturally the sun doesn't hit. So I want that depth in there. 
And then when I add the lighter pieces through this top portion, then I also am going to get that contrast and being able to see the movement because we're gonna work different tones throughout the top of this. We're gonna brighten up the front because we definitely want the brightness up there. This top part, we're gonna mix and match it. All right, so that's through the ends. We're good there. What I'm going to do is actually just twist it up do itself. I'm actually gonna paint the front first and then I'll go to the top. So right here in the front, I'm going straight up 9G. I don't need to paint her entire root. Maybe I'll smudge a little bit in there just to, just to add that little bit of depth. I'll show you guys how I do that. But I just really wanna paint this through and make sure that the majority of this section is the lighter tone. So right there, you can see that's our little V shape coming in. Just brings up a little bit of brightness on the, the face uh, as we work through it. And then if I want to, I can take a little bit of this five or the seven G and the five G and just tap it, tap it in. That's not gonna make too much of a difference in the front, but just softens it a little bit. So it's not so blonde, darker. And this is getting darker back here. It's processing, but it's not gonna be that dark. So right here, same thing. All right, so now we've just got this bigger kind of chunk on the top. This top part is probably the most important because it's what they're going to see the most. So what I wanna do is kind of let this blanket and fall, and then I'm going to decide where I wanna place these tones, okay? Right here, I've got the blondest part, which is her face frame, right? So I'm going to take little triangles out of the head, just like this, little chunk, and this one, I'm going to color the full depth because I want that to back up to her blonde. So we're going the 7G, 5G combo and pulling that all the way through. I want this to be the depth for the brightness in the front. Let that go down, see? So this piece here underneath the brightness around the face, a little bit of a sliver of depth. And then I can come up here, grab another chunk, just like this. This is where I say like, I'm a little bit different as a colorist than I am as a cutter because I'm a, I'm a little more free with how I approach the hair color. So I'm still going depth at the root, mostly because I don't want just some big chunk of blonde flying out of her head, right? I want it to soften at the root. Like that, and then I'll pull the 9G through. Look at the contrast there. This one, I'm gonna go to the mid shaft with the 5G uh, because I wanna create a little bit more depth in the crown. Just did a brighter piece there, but I don't want the crown to be fully dark. So I'll go about halfway and then we'll go 9G, the other half mid shaft to ends. All right, so that went on both of these sections here, kind of mid shaft or my 7G with a dash of 5G, right? To there, and then we pull through with the 9G. So now I go up. So this will be our full depth, this section. This one is going to be light, mostly light. So we'll go depth at the base. All right, and we're gonna go 9G through our ends here. This is full 7G uh, with a dash of 5G or 7G one ounce, 5G half an ounce, 10 volume developer, Paul Mitchell Crema, Demi Permanent Cream Hair Color. I'll work that through. This is all depth, whole thing. G indicates gold, but the goal of today is to let you know that gold is good. And using gold as a toner on bright blonde hair is actually good. All right, so that's our color technique, but now we're just gonna process it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a timer. So let me show you what, what the processing looks like for our hair color and where we're at after 20 minutes. You can see that depth. So don't be freaked out when you see that depth because I want you to see what this is gonna look like. I'm gonna snap my fingers and it's gonna turn into the beautiful styled blonde hair that it is. Ready? I'm just kidding. 
I gotta go, I gotta go rinse it out and then I'll be back. We'll blow it dry and we'll see it together. So I do that, a little more towel drying. I've got the hair probably about 30% dry now. Um, I'm gonna take the nozzle off of my blow dryer and I'm going to just work more low wind, high heat, and just work the root of the hair dry a little bit through the ends. And my goal is to get the hair about 80% dry. I get protection from the heat damage from the neuro uh, lift. All right, so we're 80% dry, okay? So now what I wanna do is take hot off the press, which you guys know is one of my favorites. Can work that in and throughout, definitely on the ends. Really wanna take care of that hair. I'm gonna go level two on the airflow, level three on the heat, so nice and hot. So I'll work that through. And just look at that, the softness and the depth in the color. So what I'm gonna do here, look at that beautiful depth. A little spin for you guys. Yeah, check out all those tones. And we only use one tone, two different levels. 